how big is this universe and how spellbinding is nature tell me have you observed this pattern of four there are four main directions east west north and south there are four states of matter solid liquid gas and plasma there are also four main seasons known worldwide winter summer spring and autumn and then we have the four elements that run this universe earth air water and fire each of these has their own amazing characteristics each has its plus points and each one of them has the power to wreak havoc think of fire explosion rapidly spreading dazzling flames smoke soot and more as much as it is useful to keep us warm and help us cook our food if fire decides to play the villain it can terrorize the scene in this segment we will particularly look at two aspects of the element of fire and that brings me to the chapter on combustion and flame we will learn what combustion is what the different types of combustion are and what are the different conditions necessary for combustion to take place we will also discuss about fuels their types and their uses so let's get started now fire is a dangerous thing for sure but it is very important too it is one of the four major elements of nature earth water wind being the other three and you must have seen day to day activities which require fire as a major factor something as daily as cooking and this daily activity is supported by the process of combustion so let's understand what combustion is exactly to put it in the most simple words combustion is a process in which a substance is on fire but if i was to define combustion it is a chemical process in which a substance reacts with oxygen to generate heat and light and the substance that undergoes combustion is said to be combustible and is called a fuel now this fuel can be in any form it may be a solid a liquid or a gas and the light that is released during combustion is either in the form of a flame or as a glow sometimes during combustion sound may also be produced it can be a hissing or a crackling sound or can also be a loud explosion If you recall there was an activity in your previous class on burning of a magnesium ribbon and you must have learned that magnesium which is a metal burns to form magnesium oxide and generates heat and light as you can see now if we perform a similar activity with a piece of charcoal what do you suppose will be the outcome i mean if we were to hold a piece of charcoal with a pair of tongs and bring it near the flame of a candle or a bunsen burner we will see that charcoal burns in air and we also know that coal too burns in air to produce carbon dioxide heat and light when i define combustion i said that the substance that is combustible is also called as fuel that is because when that fuel burns the activity progresses doesn't it talking of fuel we say that food is the fuel for our body does that mean it undergoes combustion 
Well, food isn't literally on fire in our body, but it undergoes catabolism and anabolism, two metabolic processes which gives us energy to perform our daily activities. Hey, I'll give you an activity, but you must do it under the supervision of your teacher or parents and that's an order. Got it? So collect a few things, for example, some matchsticks, paper, straw, iron nails, stone pieces, glass, etc. Now burn each one of these materials one by one. If combustion takes place, it means that the substance is combustible. And if not, that means it is non-combustible. And that is the basic classification that we will look at next. Combustible and non-combustible substances. Substances that catch fire or ignite when brought near a flame are called combustible substances. For example, paper, kerosene, wood, fabric. On the other hand, substances that do not ignite when brought in contact with fire are non-combustible substances. Sand and water being the most common examples and that is why they are used to extinguish fire. Now let us look at the different types of combustion and there are of four types. Don't do this yourself alone, okay? Please tell your parents to do it. You just observe. Bring a burning matchstick or a gas lighter near a gas stove in the kitchen and then turn on the knob of the gas stove. What do you observe? You will see that gas burns rapidly producing heat and light. Such combustion is known as rapid combustion. Camphor, spirit, petrol are substances which catch fire when brought in contact with the slightest spark. So these materials are highly inflammable. You may have observed huge tankers with a danger sign that reads highly inflammable. These tankers generally carry petrol or some such spirit and this sign of caution is very important. Moving on to the next type, spontaneous combustion. If you strike the head of a matchstick on the side of a matchbox, the matchstick lights up. This is an example of spontaneous combustion. The type of combustion in which a material suddenly bursts into flames without the application of any apparent cause is called spontaneous combustion. Let me give you another example. You must have heard of forest fires. Spontaneous forest fires are sometimes due to the extreme heat of the sun or due to lightning strike. Many times forest fires are also due to the carelessness of us humans. So it is important to remember that campfires must be completely extinguished before leaving a forest after a picnic or a visit. Now let's move on to the third type, which is slow combustion. As the name says, a combustion process that continues for a prolonged time period is known as slow combustion. For example, burning of wood, burning of a candle, burning of a pile of waste paper. Coming to the last, and the noisy type of combustion, something I dislike a lot, explosive combustion. We generally have fireworks on festival days, right? So when a cracker is ignited, a sudden reaction takes place with the evolution of a lot of heat, sudden sunlight and an extremely loud, harsh sound all in one go. Such a reaction is called an explosion. Exploding of dynamite would be another such example. That is all for this segment. Join me in the next video where we will learn about the flame, its structure and different kinds of fuels. See you soon. Tutor me for more amazing video lectures. Download the free app on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store.